Okay, Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera semua. So, today we will start with uh, I.O. introduction in which in the previous video, we already learned how to program in C programming by using the data type. There are several data types. Now, we are going to do a programming in I.O. Alright, so there are three common I.O. interface available in AVR or in other computer system or microprocessor system. The first one is we call it as an elementary I.O. Alright, in which it is a simple two-state device such as LED and switches. Alright, so elementary I.O. is, if you see here, it's a two state divide what does two state means it means that you have two state either it is logic one or zero either it is on or off that is a two state devices okay then we have a parallel io okay which is a data exchange one byte at a time okay means that for the parallel only one byte data go to your input or going out <laughs> okay only one byte data going go to your micro p or going out from your micro p that is a parallel io while serial io is data exchange one bit at a time means that many data go to your micro p and going out to your micro p at one Okay, depends on your micro p size okay your data bus size if your data bus size is 8 bit then you, you can if you use usually use a serial io means that you can send out 8 bit data at one time right if you use it a 16 bit micro p 16 bit computer so you can send out 16 bit data at one time okay so let's revise okay let's we revise about the Armega 32i of ports okay as we already know Armega 32 we have 40 pin out which is started from pin 1 until pin 40 here all right so okay from this 40 uh, pin outs 32 pins are dedicated to your I.O. port, which is named as a port A. Okay, you have a port A here. Port B, 8 bit for port B. Then you have a port C and port D. Okay, what about other, the remaining 8 pins? Okay, the remaining 8 pins are using for the reset. Okay, to reset your micro P. And then you have a VCC. Okay, which is you need to connect it to 5 volt, and then you have two grounds that right? connected this ground here to your ground lah. Okay, and then you have an air ref. This one here used for <coughs> if you're going to do a ADC. Okay, so air ref you need to put to your voltage reference and external one and external two. So this is your external oscillator. Right, so the pin marked by ground, okay, you have a GND, GND here, are to be grounded. So you need to connect this, the, this ground here to your grounded, okay. While VCC and AVCC are to given 5 wood, okay. Make sure that every time you connect it, you <coughs> at mega, your micro P, make sure that VCC always connected to 5 wood while ground to be grounded why the recipient is a uh, so high but we usually prefer to put a switch at this point for the reset of the chip okay if the switch is pressed for a minimum pass of time then it reset the chip okay so the reset you put a switch here in which this is active low switch whenever you press your switch value zero will go to your 
en line. Ok, yo resérvate. <coughs> ok, and then, as I mentioned previously, there are three registers associated with I.O. ports in AVR. Okay, so each of your port A, port B, port C, and port D have these three registers, which is we call it as a DDR, port X, and pin X. Okay, as we know, the DDR used to determine a, a given port as an input or output port, in which this one here will determine whether you want to make your port either A is input or output. Okay, if you want to make your port as an input, Okay, make sure you send what value here. So input, you need to send 0 to your DDR. While if you want to make it as an output port, so make sure this one here you send 1, okay, to your DDR. Okay, every time you send 1, means that that output, uh, that pin up with, uh, you make it as a Whenever you make uh, send zero to your DDR, so your pin here will become input. Okay. While port X and pin X, okay, the port X used to send the data out to pin, which is you going to write the data. You want to send out the data from micro pin to your input outputs. Okay, to your output actually. Okay, we using the port X register. While if you're going to read the data, okay, from your pins, okay, this is your pins, okay, the pins of your micro P, to your micro P, okay, you will use the pin X register. Okay, let's lah. If you, you, if you put this value here to your DDR X, okay, since this is an 8-bit data, okay, in which each of your, our Port A, port B, port C, and port D is 8 bit wide. So our DDRX, port X, and pin X also consider of 8 bit data. Okay, let's you put the bit 7 here is 1, this is 1, this is 1, 1, while this is 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, what happened is, okay, pin X7 until, alright, this one here, until this one here okay you make it as a output okay and while because this one is got 0 0 0 0 at your DDRX so this one here become input okay so the most important thing is your DDRX okay make sure you initialize your DDRX correctly according to your programming according to your the question that you want to answer so now we are going to to see how to program how to do a IO programming in C okay in the previous uh, module we already learned how to do a IO programming with the SMD now we are going to replace that assembly language by using a C programming right so let's look at the IO port register first okay so now we are going to initialize okay how to make the IO port as input or output port okay the answer is we need to initialize our DDRX register okay so every time you're going to make your IO port as input or output port make sure that you initialize your DDR X. Okay, this X here you can replace with A, B, C, and D. Depend on what port that you are going to use. <coughs> okay, to make a port as an output, okay, you need to write once to your DDR X register. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, okay, to make it an output. Okay, so output weapon is you need to set one, right? If you're going to make it as an input, you need to put zero to your DDR. 
Okay, for example here, you are going to make your part B as output. Okay, so those what happen is you need to write. Okay, this one here since all the part B you're going to make is output. So what happen is those you need to write zero B one 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 and send it to your DDRP register to make all the pins of part B as a output part. Okay, so this is your DDR. D, D, R, P. Okay, what value you need to send? You need to send 0P. 1, 1, 1, 1. 1, 1, what? 1 to your radio array. Now, what happened here is port B equal to out. Okay, every time you see. Okay, so this is uh, what we writing. Okay, what we written in our assembly language. Okay, the first thing first, you need to load this number 0B1111 to your register and then you need to send out this value R16 to your DDRB. So you need two lines of instruction. Right? Two lines of instruction in assembly language. But in the C language, you only need to write down DDRB equal to OX FF. So automatically, after you execute this line here, what happens is port B now become output port. Okay, you also can write DDRB equals 0B1111111. Okay, sama juga dengan this one. So this one you using a binary numbers. This one you using the hexa number. Or, okay, or you can use DDRB equal to 255. Okay, so this is how you're going to make your port B as a input port. Sorry, output port. Okay, you have three churches. Okay, three way to initialize your port as output port. The first one by using the head sum number. Second one by using a binary representation. Or the third one you can use the decimal. Okay, now we are going to make our port okay, as an input part. So how to do that? Okay, to make uh, your... Uh, port as an input, make sure that you send 0 alright, to your DDRS register. Okay, so for example, make port B as an output port, those you're going to write 0B0000 into your DDRB register in order to make all the pins as an input. So this is what you're going to write down in your assembly. So LDI R16 0x00. So you put 00 to your R16 and then send this number from R16 to your DDRB. So R DDRB R16. Okay, so this, this is what happened. Uh, this is what you need to write down to initialize in assembly language. But in sync language, you only need to write DDRB equal to 0. So automatic your port B become as input. Why? Because you send zero to your DDRB. Okay. So this is in hand in decimal. If you're going to write in hexa decimal, pun sama juga lah. DDRB zero x zero zero. Binary also can. Okay, you need the DDRB equal to zero B. What value? Zero 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 zero. 0, 0. Okay, and remember that, okay, every time you write down in C programming, remember each of the line must be ended with the semicolon here. Okay, if not, when you try to compile, then the error will occur. Okay, it's saying that you need to end each of this line here with the semicolon. Okay, next, 
we are going to select the direction of your pin. Okay, if you if you recall back earlier in the module three or four, if not mistaken, instead of we dedicate that part as an input, the whole part as an input, or the whole part as an output, we also can change which pin can be input, which one to belong to your output part. Okay, so this one here. Alright, so we use the DDR as N bit in which N here represent the bit that you're going to select the direction of your pin. Either you want to make this an input and output. Similar to earlier, okay, in which if you put one weapon is it become output. If you put zero, it become input. But depend on your N. Okay. The end bit that you're going to select. Alright. For example, here you're going to mix your pin 7 to 4 as a port B input while the rest pin as a port B output. So let's this is your port B. Okay, how to draw? Right, so this is your port B. Okay, port B you have how many bits? 8 bits. Okay, starting from this bit 7 okay so i make it as a pb7 this 6 5 4 3 2 1 and 0 now what happened here is you want to make pb7 to pb4 here as a input okay so this is going to make it as an input while pb3 to pb0 here as a output so how are you going to make this uh, input the, the the first four bit here as input and the last four bit here as a output so make sure that you need to okay you need to initialize in your ddrb all right so since this is port b pin number seven anti pin number four as an input what happened is now here you need to put 0, 0, 0 to your DDRB while this one you need to put 1, 1, 1 to your DDRB okay so this is what you're going to write DDRB equal to 0, B, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1 or you can write down in hexadecimal equal to 0, X, 0, F but for this kind of uh Okay, to, to, to select a, a certain bit as an input, a certain bit as an output, this kind of situation, this kind of case, I prefer to use the binary representation. Okay, because we need, okay, we are uh, easy for us to identify which bit you, that we're going to make is an input, which bit that we are going to make is a, a, as an output. Alright, so now, for this one here, make spot pin which is pin 7531 as an input while the even pins 6420 as a output so again okay you draw your ddrb okay so ddrb you have eight bits okay so this is bit seven six five four three two one and zero okay now it's saying that the op pins which is the pin ganjil you're going to make it as a input okay so this is your ddrp lah okay op pin as an input so how you're going to do that what number that you're going to put okay you put zero 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 to all your odd pins okay your pin ganjil here you put zero to your ddrp and then while the even pin which is the pin genap here you want to make it as a output so you send one to your bit six four two and zero now what happen is okay after you execute okay after you write down this what we call here this c program here okay then what happen is the odd pin will you make it as an input while even pin you make it as a output so this is in binary see here is bit seven six five 
4, 3, 2, 1 and 0. So that's why I, I prefer to use a binary representation rather than hexadecimal or decimal number. Right, because we can see which bit that we're going to select as an input or as a output. <coughs> okay, next. After you initialize your what we call your DDR, okay, your data direct reg register. Now, how are you going to access that port register? Okay. Either you want to read it by using a pin X register or you want to write it by using a port X register. Alright. So here, to access a port register as a byte, which is 8 bit, byte equal to 8 bit. So to access, ataupun you can read as a read. Oh, sorry. To access, not read this one here to write, atau put to set out. Okay, we can use a port X register. All right, so why? Use pin X in order to access a pin register as a byte. Okay, this one here, if you're going to, to read a data from IO to micro P, we use a pin X. Okay, this one here, if you're going to send a data from micro P to your IO, so we use the Port X register. What about DDRX? Okay, DDRX indicates the data direction of your port X. Either you want to make this as an input port or as an output port. Okay, so let's look at this example here. Okay, LEDs are connected to pins of port B. Okay, so you're going to write an AVLC program that show the count from 0 to FF on the LED. Okay, first thing first. Okay, you draw lah. Okay, this is your micro P. <coughs> okay, you know that this is your port A. This is port C. Sorry, B, C, and this is your port D. Okay, now, LEDs, okay, which is LEDs, more LEDs lah, banyak LEDs, which is 8-bit LEDs, you see l bit LEDs, are connected to your Port B. Okay, so this is how you have eight LEDs connected to okay eight bit your port B, which is dari PB seven to PB zero. Okay, this LED here are connected to your port B. Okay, and then what you going to do here? You going to show the count. From 0 to FF. Okay, you're going to show. Okay, so when 0, what happen is when 0, okay, the count 0, what happen is all the LED. Okay, so let's see, this is your LED will turn off. When you count 1, so this is your LED. Okay, only one LED will light up. Two, is it two LED lights up? No, this one will light up. Okay, because it, this is one, two, three, sorry, one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, and one, two, eight. So this is in binary representation. Okay, when three, what happened when three? All right. What is the binary representation of 3? So this one and this one with lights up. And when FF, what happened? FF, what is FF? 
Okay, all the LED here akan live up. Okay, this is what happened. Okay, to do accounting on your LED. Alright, so how to write a C programming? First, the first, what are you going to do? Okay, you need to, as I mentioned earlier, you need to include this AVR slash IO that hash. Okay, this is a standard AVR header. Alright, and then you started with INT main void, open clear bracket, and close clear bracket. Okay, next, what are you going to do? Right, so what are you going to write down in your INT main word? Okay, so I, I write down here. Okay, first, you include the file first, avr slash io dot hash. Okay, so this is the must. Okay, you must include this file here. Okay, and then started with INT main what? So this is your main programming lah. Okay, open clear bracket and close clear bracket. Okay, first thing first, what are you going to do? Okay, if you looking at this, what we call here, this circuit here, okay, this diagram here, okay, you see that, oh, port P, you connected to your LED. Since this is LED, so LED is your output lah. So you need to initialize port P as your Okay, how to initialize port B as output? So, DDRB equal to 0x FF. D is your first line. Okay, you initialize your port B. So, then your port B become as a output point. <coughs> okay, next. Okay, next you start with your port B. Port B equal to 0. Why 0? Okay, because my first number here is 0. Okay, so I just write down port B equal to 0. So my first number here started with 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then next, I use Y1. What is Y1? Okay, means that you want to do it forever. Okay, and then under Y1, I have the open clear bracket and close clear bracket. So, why I need to put here? Okay, since the first value I sent out to my port B, okay, because this number here, I want to send to my, okay, okay, because I want to send out the data or write the data out from micro P to IO, so I use the port X label. Okay, so that's why port B equal to zero. Okay, I cannot use the pin B here. So I cannot use the, okay, let's say I use the pin B here, sama dengan kosong, which is, this one is wrong. Okay, because I want to send out the data from micro P to my LEDs. Okay, and then while one, okay, why one, what next? Okay, so I need to increase my port B lah. Port B sama dengan port B increment by 1. Because the first number here is 0, 0, 0. What is the second number? Is 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, so that was, that's why port B equal to port B plus 1. Okay, the first is 0, 0, 0, 0. Plus with 1, you get 1. Okay, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So I send out to my port B. Okay, so now what happens is, the second sequence, the bit one, the bit zero here with lights up. Okay, and it will keep repeating. Why well, keep repeating? Because I using the while loop, while one. Repeat continuously. Okay, do I need to put the return here? No need to put return zero also. Okay, next, pull up resistor, okay, so there is a pull up resistor for each of the AVR pins, mean that, 
okay so each of this pin here actually okay okay each of this pin here okay your port b port d port c port a has your pull up resistor okay by default your pull up resistor is disabled okay how to enable your pull up resistor what this pull up resistor do okay you see here okay so this pull up resistor is useful to reduce noise okay so we use we enable our pull up resistor in order to reduce noise okay so this one here only applicable if you make your port as a input port okay so every time you make your port as an input make sure that okay you need to enable your pull up resistor okay so since input of avr are generally in high state which is logic one those to make them prone to catching noise and pick up false okay so every every time you make your port as an input port so make sure that you enable your pull rs in order to reduce some noises okay so to activate your pull up resistor okay what you going to do you need to put one to your port x register okay to deactivate pull up resistor put zero to your port x register okay means that if you this is your port x okay after you initialize your your ddrx as an input okay so you next you can enable your pull up resistor if you put one means that you enable if you put zero to your port x so this one you disable or this deactivate but by default our pull up resistor is disabled okay let's do an example <coughs> okay so this one here so I have two programming here, one in the assembly language and one in the C programming. Okay, why? Because I want to. Uh, I want to. to uh, so I want to make you to see what are the difference between assembly language and C programming. Okay, you see uh, the first one in. Assembly language. Okay, you need to include empty2def.inc. This is your first slide. Okay. In C programming, so this is your first line. Hashtag include avr slash io dot h. Okay. And then you started with integer main void, open curly bracket, and close curly bracket. Okay. This one doesn't have lah. Because every after you include this file here, what happens is every time you throw all the instruction down here, so this become your main program. Okay, so you see here, load i r sixty zero out d d r c r sixty. What happens here? Okay, so this one here you want to make your port c as a input port. So this is make your port c as a input port. You see, here? this is your This represent this two line of instruction. Eh? DDRC equal to zero. Okay, and then load i r sixteen comma or xfs out DDRB r sixteen. So what happened here? So this one here you might to you want to make your port B as a output port. Okay, so this number three. So similar to this one. This is your number three. Okay, next. In R60 pin C means that you want to read a data okay from pin C put to R60 okay load I R70 V5 put 5 to your R17 ADD R16 R17 out port P R16 R jump L2 okay so 
we look at here this loop here looping here okay up jump l2 this l2 so it will keep repeating continuously so this is step number four so in c programming step number four will be presented by y1 okay which you want to do a continuous loop okay now here in r60 pin c okay why point you want to read the data from port c why port c because your port c here become an input okay and put to your r60 okay so in c programming okay you can replace this r16 okay with any variable Okay, so this is the register. You can replace it with any variable in C programming. Okay, so in this case here, Z equal to pin C. Okay, so this is step number five. <coughs> okay, Z equal to pin C, which is equivalent to in R60 pin C, in which you put value from pin C to your R60. Okay, next, LDI, R17, 5, ADD, R16, R17. So, what happened here is, R16 sama dengan R16 plus R17. What is R17? 5. Okay, so in C programming, okay, so we just write down Z, okay, which is your R16 equal to Z. Okay, so this one, Z equal to Z plus Fine. Okay, no need to do these lines here in C programming because we can automatically add with the immediate data. So this is step number six. Okay, so this. And last one here, out port C, a port B R16 means that you want to send out the value from R16 to your port B. Okay, so how to represent in C programming? So this one here, port B equal to Okay, so this is example of code without a pull up resistor. Okay, you not activate. Okay, so this one here not activate pull up resistor. Okay, next you're going to activate your pull up resistor. Okay, so the same programming here. Okay, the difference is yeah, here. So you see here, yeah? out port C R16. Okay, means that you enable your put up resistor by put FF to your port C. Okay, by, by right, I usually, okay, I always initialize my input output, uh, my input port first. Okay, I initialize input. Then the second step. Then after that, I enable pull up resistor. Okay, that is my way of doing things. Okay, I initialize my input port first, and then I enable my pull up resistor. Okay, but this one here. Okay, you see it, this one here. Enable the pull up resistor. Then after that, you initialize your input. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> okay, you see here. Okay, the same one here. Just we want to write down this one. Okay, to enable the port up here, you just put down port C equal to OX FS. So automatically you enable your port up here. You see here, this is the first one. Okay, the first step which is I need to test my port C as an input, and then after that I enable my pull up resistor. Okay. So you see here, only one line you need to put here, which is kat sini. Okay, di mana kamu letak port C sama dengan 0x. Okay, so automatic you enable pull up resistor. <coughs> only one line to enable your pull up resistor. 
Okay, so we have a dot of example here. Okay, so the AVR assembly code will show how to configure the pin on port X. Okay, so first include IVR slash IO integer main void. DDRA sama dengan OXFF. Why pun ya? Okay, you want to max all your port A as a output port. Why? Because you send one to your DDR. Okay. So, something like this lah. You draw your DDR. So, this is your DDR. 8 bits. So, this DDRA. Okay, what value you send out to your DDRA? FF. Okay. Since D. Okay. 8 bits. So, this one we can use. Okay, since it has a decimal. So, you can use the 8421 method lah. 8421 method. What is FF? FF equal to 15. Okay, so 8 tambah 4, 8 plus 4, 12, plus 2, 14, plus 1 is 15. So this one is 1, 1, 1, 1. So yeah, this become F. This also F. 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so means that all the port A here, you want to make it as a output. What about this one here? DDRB equal to 0. Okay, again, you draw lah. Your DDRB. So, DD also DRB. Now, what value that you put here? 0, 0. So, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, all the port B now become as input port. And last but not least, DDR3 equal to OXF0. So, DDRC. F0. So, this is F and 0. Okay, by using the 8421 method. So, this is kosong, 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 kosong. What about F? F is 15, which is 1, 1, 1, 1. Oh, so, now you know that. Okay, this one here. Bit 7 until bit 4 here. You want to make it as an output. But this one here. Bit 3 until bit 0. You want to make it as a input very easy okay it's not complicated okay so you just need to make sure that uh, you just need to use uh, initialize your DDR correctly according to your case or your questions okay we have another example Okay, the following code will toggle all 8 bit of port B forever with some time delay on and off states. Okay, you see here, this is written in assembly language. Okay, the first line here, what happened? LDI, RC0, blah, 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 out DDRB, R16. So, this one here, what happened? Port B sama dengan output. Okay, you want to ensure so port B has output. And then, LDI R60 OX F55 out port B16. And then you call a delay. Okay. Why you call a delay? Because you want to do a toggle. Okay. You want to send that value to your LED. So, in order uh, for you to see the LEDs change from lights on and lights off. So, you need to put a delay. If you not put the delay, you cannot see the different between light, lights off and lights on because it's very fast it's too fast your eyes cannot catch the the changings okay the changes pattern the changing sequence okay from off and on so that's why we put a certain delay here okay and then load i r60 ox a8 and import b r16 call delay r jump one okay since this one you do a forever so you see here you just use the jump okay we keep repeating here okay so by looking at this what happened is okay the first number that you're going to send out so let's lah your port b connected to your led okay, so this is the first factor you done that you want to send out which, which is equal to 55 five. okay so what is 55 five? okay this is 55 five. 
okay by using f four to one f four to four to one so which led will light up this one okay so this is the first pattern okay because so this is a five five eh? five five so this is the first pattern okay this led will lights up the even okay the even bits of leds will slide up okay while this second pattern here that you're going to send out to your port b okay you send a a why is a a a, a is you did a 10 lah. okay so eight plus two okay so this is the second pattern okay you want to do a blinking lah, blinking sequence okay and Next, how we are going to write down in C programming? Okay, first thing first, what are you going to do? Okay, first thing first, what are you going to do is okay. Every time you're going to write down your C programming, make sure you include this file here. Include hashtag includes avr slash io dot yes because this is a standard header for your here we are okay and then started with integer main void open clear bracket and close clear bracket okay so the first line here what you're going to do initialize your port b so your port b become output so did you agree something like eh? oxff and then while one why why we use the while one here while one loop why we want to do a continuously because we're saying that you want you need to set it forever do the toggle all eight bits of be forever okay so while one open clear bracket close clear bracket and then what is the first value that you going to send out okay so according this, to this one here okay that even pin here lights up while the odd pin will light off Okay, so what happened here? You just send out port B sama dengan kosong B, kosong 1, kosong 1, kosong 1, kosong 1. Okay, so they will fill that design here. Okay, and then call a delay. How to call a delay? So, this one here, we using a call function. But, in this one here, just put the delay bracket and semicolon. Okay, you know that this is your delay function. And down here, you need to write down your delay function. Lah. Okay. Boy, delay. Oh, this one here, will, the delay function will lead in the timer in the next module. Alright. So, you call a delay. And then, do a toggle. What the, the toggle means? Means that, okay, if you, the first bit is zero. And then, the, the first second factor, you need to b1 okay if the first sequence is one the next sequence need to be zero. so that is the mean of this toggle here okay it will keep switching from zero to one and one to zero okay so port b sama dengan what is the value here one zero one zero one zero one zero okay this one zero b one zero one zero one zero zero call your delay close clear bracket and return zero if you want Going to write a return zero so can if you don't want to write a return zero so okay. okay now okay you are required to write a program to perform the following okay so you need to keep monitoring pb two bit at okay so every time you come across this in uh this kind of question okay so what you're going to do is you need to draw your diagram or draw your circuits okay because you want you want to see it clearly lah so this pb2 okay keep monitoring the pb2 until it become high okay and whenever you uh, hear the word monitor or see the word monitor what you can conclude that the monitor is actually you want to make your part as a input port you keep monitor okay means that this one become should be a 
input port. So, since this is the monetary means that this one here we connected to your switch. So every time the switch is pressed, what happens is it becomes high. If switch not pressed, it always zero. Okay. When PB2 become high, okay, you need to write a value 4, 5 to port C and also send high to low pass to PD3. Okay, so you have a PD3 here and port C. Okay. So this port C, 8 bits are connected to your LED. Why LED? Because you want to write a value to your port C. You want, you want to send out the value from the, from micro P to your port C. So you, this one here, you connect it to your LED. Or you can also connect it to any of your output device such as a 7 segment display. Or you can connect it to the printer, monitor or etc. As long as in the output, it's correct. Okay, for in this case here, we just use LEDs. And then, send. Okay, another send. Alright, so this one, you you know that? This is output. Port C, you make as output. And send high to low pass to your PD. Three. So this one here, another output. Okay, because you want to send the low to high pass to your LEDs okay to PD3 so you have in this case here you have one input and three outputs okay in this case here we have one input and two outputs okay All right so how are you going to write down the program okay first Include AVR slash IO dot H started with integer main void open curly bracket and close curly bracket. Alright, the first line here DDRP equal to what is this actually? Uh, tilde and then you have shift. Okay, one shift to the left two times. What is this actually? Okay, remember back, back in the previous video. Okay, this is the first line. Okay, you have the value. What is the value? Kosong, 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 satu. This is one. Okay, this is the value. And this is how many, how many, what we call here, how many bits that you're going to shift. Okay, so this one here, either you want to shift to the right okay this is to indicate either you want to shift to the left or you want to shift to the right okay so in this case here you want to shift to the left how many times two times okay so this is your first data kosong 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 satu so you're going to send to the left two times okay so one two Okay, so it become, at the end, it will become 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So this one here, you send to DDRP. Okay, what happened here? Okay, you draw lah. Okay, so this your DDRP, ada 8 bit. What value that you send? Okay, so this is kosong, 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 kosong. This is DDRB. And this is kosong, satu, kosong, kosong. Ah, now you know like this. Lima, enam, tujuh. Okay, now you know that. Oh, PB2. Okay, so. PB2, you going to make it as a. Input, okay, because you send one to your bit number two in your DDRP. So, PB2 as input. Betul tak PB2 as input? Yes, because your PB2 is connected to your 
switches. No, now is it correct? This is a, a, as input, so this one is not not input. Output. Okay, where are we just now? Okay, now, okay, sorry. So in this case here, okay. So what happened? You you put sorry. Ah, lama. No. Okay. One my pen, all right. So now, weapon is if you put something like this, weapon is P B where you make it as an output, while the rest of a P you make it as a input. Is it correct or not? No, it's not correct. Why? Because P B where you are connected to your switch. So now it is wrong. So how to make sure that your P B where become input part? So that's why we use this sign, this symbol here, the tilde. Okay, so that's why you put that D D R B equal to tilde. Okay, actually zero B zero 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 one zero zero. Okay, so this is the hard way to do things. Okay, why not you use the simple way? Okay, don't use this kind of this kind of hardest way. Okay, to initialize your DDRP. Okay, so no need to do this. Okay, why not you just use the DDRP? Okay, so now PB two. Okay, you want to make your PB2 as a input port. Okay, so now what happen is, so this one here you make as alright. Okay, the one way we can do is, we make all the DDRB, the all the port B as our input port. Okay, make your all the DDRB as a input port. Okay, why? Because the rest of this this uh, port B are not. Use. So why not we just use the all we initialize all the P port B as a output port. Ataupun, okay, you can simply if you going to insist to do this kind of things, okay, this type of thing, okay, what happen is why not we just use the D D R B equal to zero B, okay, only P B two, okay, bit number two you make as a input. While the rest we make it as a output. Okay, so kosong B satu 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 kosong satu satu. Also can. Okay, you can use this one, or this one, or you can use this one if you want to. Uh, if if you want your friend to press you as a expert, okay, you just use this kind of lines, okay. Because this one here actually, the this one here, okay, similar to this line here, okay. What? Because this is tilde. What the tilde do? The tilde to means that it you want to do inverting, okay. Means that zero become one, one become zero. So what happen after you done this tilde? So this one it become one, 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 one is zero, one. Eh? So the first line you are, you finish the first line, which is you make your port B as a input port. Right. Next, because this one here you make as a input port. So what are you going to do? So you need to initialize your pull up resistor. Why to initialize your pull up resistor? Because this one here you already set it as a Input part. So in order to re reduce noise, so you need to enable your pull up resistor. So just write down port B equal to one shift to the left two times. Ataupun the simple way to do things is okay. So can I write down down here? Okay, which is you can write down port B 
equal to 0 b 0 0 0 0 okay 0 1 0 okay only bit number 2 you enable your pull up resistor <coughs> okay next okay we have the port c port c all the port c connected to leds okay so you can put the ddrc equal to oxff okay ataupun you can to ddrc equal to 255 also can ddrc equal to 0 b 1111 also can okay and next okay last but not least you need to initialize this one also as a output port okay so pd3 as output port so ddrb equal to 1 shift to the last how many times 3 times okay Okay, instead of using this kind of uh, shifting things, what you got, you what you can do is you just write down DDRD equal to zero B. Okay, one 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 zero one one one. So only PDT sorry PDT ke become output port the rest you make it as a input port or you can also make because pin in the port d used as a output why not we just make all the port d as a output as well so you just write down 0 x f f also accepted next okay i need to erase this thing here because it getting messed up all right so uh, padam Okay, so you already done the initialization, okay, of your ports. Okay, now we're going to write down the P here, okay. Whenever the P, B2 become high, write value 45 to port C and send high to low pass to your port T digger. So how to do that? Okay. So you going to use a while one because you want to perform this continuously. You want to keep monitoring your PB2 continuously sepanjang masa. So we use the while loop here. Open clear bracket, close clear bracket. Okay. So how to check this one here? Be either it is pressed or not. So in order to check this one here, either it's pressed or not, we can use the if else statement okay if pin b equal equal zero b okay so now we're going to see either pin b kita equal to this condition okay what condition that you're going to to see here okay because this pb2 okay so i draw this one here Okay, so this is my port. pin B. Okay, so PB2 kosong satu dua tiga this B part lima enam and tujuh. Okay, PB2. Whenever the PB2 equal to one. Okay. So what happen is I send this value to port C and send high to low pass to your PD3. Okay, so. This is the value that I want to check with my pin. Okay, that's why my if uh, condition is if pin B equal to this value. Okay, let's say lah, this, this is the value that going to your pin B. Sama dengan this value. What happened? It will execute this line. If your pin B, let's say your pin B, the current value now is 0, 0, 0, 0, which is you not press your your switch here okay and it will produce this one is it equal to this condition here is it this condition is met no not met which is false you're going to else else do nothing okay so this is how we're going to do the if else 
that might okay we need to make sure that the condition is true or not okay okay if pin b equal to this value here what happen here is port c equal to 45 okay you send 45 to your port c okay and then send high to low pass to your pd3 okay you can use the port d equal to port d okay all with one shift to the left by three or and then the next sequence is port d equal to port d and with tilde shift to the left by three ataupun if you're not going to use this time the line or programming you can always use the port d we just write the simple programming okay no need to do the complex one zero b okay so this port b what is the value that you're going to send first high to low okay send kosong 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 one zero 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 because this is b kosong satu dua tiga empat lima enam tujuh so this is your bit number three okay first you send one and then the second one yeah what b kosong b kosong 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 so you say zero so this is how you're going to do a toggle high to low pass to your body okay make sure the the location is correct lah okay because this is pd3 so that's why i put one to my b3 and zero to my b3 as well what about the rest the rest i just put zero lah because the rest uh, i'm not connected to any opus okay so that is for the two days class okay next we continue with the elementary 